Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. Hello. You? Fine. ¿Cómo estamos de lluvia por ahí? Fuerte, casi no se escucha nada. Verdad, está tremendo. Si sí, eso estaba viendo yo ahorita. Aquí. Los sapos están cayendo. <ríe> Así. Sí, sí, eso es cierto. Eh, está lloviendo súper, súper fuerte. Pero a ver qué tal, ¿verdad? A ver cómo sigue el resto del, de la noche. Ojalá que baje. Hay veces que después de un rato baja y ya quedamos tranquilos. A ver hoy qué tal. Cabal, porque si ahorita está bien fuerte. Sí, ahorita está súper, súper fuerte. Pero bueno, esperemos que, que se calme. Y que no se nos vaya a querer ir la luz. Aquí ha estado yendo, y viniendo tarras. Sí, eso pasa cuando está lloviendo demasiado fuerte. Que se va, se viene, se va, se viene. Y eso afecta un montón, pero vamos a ver qué tal. Bueno, let's see. I'm going to call attendance. Let's see if you're ready. Tell me present as you listen to your voice. Ya tenemos varios por aquí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Adriana Sofía, are you, oh. are you here? Okay. Yes. Adriana Sofía. Present. Good night. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Brinti. Que me está ubicando bien el día. Ahí estamos. 25th de Adriana Sofía, right? Eh, Ana Alicia. Yes. Ana. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. Hello, no, no está. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Good evening teacher, present. Okay. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. Grace Michelle. Grace, Grace. Me pareció verla conectada, Grace. No sé si está. Yes, por... teacher, present. Ok. Yvonne Marcela. Yvonne. Yvonne Marcela, no. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer. Jessica Lisette. José Alberto. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Karen Janet. Carla Lorena. 
Present teacher. Hola. José Alberto o José Alfredo. No, yo dije José Alberto. Bueno, pero no me mencionó mi José Alfredo. No está allí José Alfredo. Ya vamos a ver si es que está más abajo que pasó hoy. Ah, vaya. Ok. Sí, porque no estaba allí. Okay. Ajá, después de Jessica Lisset, José Alberto y después Karen Lorena. Ya vamos a ver qué pasó. Lisset Dayanara. Nubia. Rebeca. Rosa Hilda. Víctor Manuel. Víctor Manuel. Present. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Karen Stephanie. José Alfredo, usted entregó los documentos. Sí, teacher, incluso me mandaron los enlaces al correo. Voy a recortar eso. Pero voy a conectar mi cell phone que creo que se morirá. Teacher, yo, usted tampoco me mencionó a mí. ¿A quién? Adriana Marcela. Claro que sí, si usted sigue siendo la uno, la cosa es que no me respondió. No, dijo Adriana Sofía. ¿Mm? No le creo. Sí. Ya vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Voy a sacar una memoria. Teacher. Hola. Ah, acabo de conectar, no sé si ya me mencionó. Ah, vaya, ya lo llamo, ya reviso que. Solo desconecto una cosa. Está perfecto. How important it is to play with the Bologna program. Ay, este caballo que le dije que mi cell phone ya, ya, ya se moría y se murió. Vaya, vamos a ver. Eh, voy de nuevo, Adriana. No me asuste. Uy, sí. ¿Qué pasó? Teacher, really, you said Adriana Sofía. You didn't no, mention. Es cierto, es que fíjense que voy a tener que hacer un par de reportes acá. Just let me get my notebook. <coughs> Yo dije, ¿qué pasó, Adriana? No viene. Para I'm here, teacher. Ya voy a reportar porque tengo, no me aparece tampoco Diego, ¿verdad, Diego? Creo que está trabajando todavía, teacher. Sí, pero no digo, perdón, este José Alfredo. Y Adriana, ah, correcto, Adriana Sofía is not here. Y Adriana Sofía me vio cosas que ahora es bien, como estaba de fregar y fregar. Igual yo le dije que estaba saliendo con alguien. ¿no? <ríe> ahora en la noche lo que nunca hace es escribirme. Rosy, 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 Rosy. Creo ya, que teacher, no, perdón. Creo que no estaba hablando con nosotros. No, teacher. Vamos a ver. Víctor, do me a favor. Póngase el nombre completo según Dui. Sorry, hoy este es el día loco, ¿eh? Vamos a ver. Carla Lorena, Adriana Marcela K, Adriana Sofía. Adriana Sofía tiene micrófono. Sí. ¿No me dijo present cuando la llamé? Sí, sí, le dije present. Y me confirmó que me dijo chile. En serio. Vamos a ver. Adriana Sofía, si está present. Ana Alicia. Ana, no, ¿verdad? Ana no está. Víctor, ¿sabe cómo ponerse el nombre completo? Hello. 
Víctor, Víctor, Víctor Manuel Argueta. Sí, póngase el nombre completo, porfa. ¿Ya sabe dónde? No. Allí a la par donde está su nombre, eh, le da clic. Yo no les comparto porque fíjense que lamentablemente Zoom no comparte Zoom. Okay. Rename. Las plataformas que sí se comparte la pantalla de ellas mismas, pero Zoom no se puede. Eh, ya, ya está. Pero eso, muy bien. Víctor Manuel Argueta. Solamente así me aparece, Víctor. Sí. Vamos a ver, Víctor. Sí, solamente. Eh, Jennifer Blanco. Póngase. <coughs> Sorry. Póngase Jennifer el nombre completo también. <risa> Sorry, está todo es burma. Seguimos, no se quiere ir, Carlita. <risa> Vamos a ver, Jennifer Blanco le da clic a los tres puntitos que están a la par de su nombre y ahí le va a dar la opción de, de cambiar nombre. Igual Marcela Vázquez. Marcela. Adriana Sofía, me le falta un apellido, ¿verdad? Si tienen alguna duda, porque van, es su primera vez. Si tienen alguna duda de sobre cómo, cómo cambiar los nombres, me dicen. Ok, Marcela. Marcela, Marcela, recuerden las instrucciones. Hola. Este... Estoy intentando, pero no, no logro cambiar porque solo me sale chatear y grabar. No, a la par de su nombre hay tres puntitos. Ah, sí. Sí, sí, sí. Vale. Ok, gracias. Le a esos tres puntitos y ahí le da la opción de cambiar nombre. Ya, ya pude. Sí, Excelente. gracias. Excelente. Vamos a ver. Vale. Vamos a hacer ahorita entonces el, el reporte, ¿verdad? De quienes faltan. Adriana. Adriana Marcela. What's your other last name? Jiménez Mejía. Para ver qué pasó con ustedes. Ana, Ana Alicia, no here. Ana Grisel. Déjenme verificar una cosa. Vaya, Diego, here, no Diego, Elmer, Elmer Fabricio, Ivonne Marcela, Ivonne, presente. Ok, usted es Marcela, ¿verdad? Y se puso Ivo Marcela. Ah, vaya, pues ya estamos completos. Muy bien. Eh, Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer. Jennifer Elizabeth. Estamos está Jennifer. 
Jennifer, recuerden que es un requisito decir present siempre que se les pase lista, ¿verdad? No se oye, Jennifer. Cheque qué sucede con su micrófono. Jessica Lisette. José Alberto. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Karen Janet. Karen Karen, no está. Carla Lorena y es. Liseta Yanara. Liseta Yanara. Nubia Zulema. Rebeca. Present teacher. No. Ok, Rebeca Marcela. Rebeca. Karen y Stephanie. Me falta José Alfredo, ¿verdad? José Alfredo. Elías Alex. Adriana Marcela Jiménez, ahorita voy a reportarlos, Adriana Marcela. Hola, hola. Hola, vaya, ahorita hola. los estoy reportando. Eh, Ok, eh, vamos a esperar, ¿verdad? Vamos a, a esperar para, para recibir cualquier eh, reporte, ¿ok? Entonces, ahí ustedes estén pendientes, Adriana y José Alfredo. Ana no gira, ¿verdad? Ok, bueno. Vamos a, a estar pendientes en el transcurso de la noche y, y el día de mañana para ver qué fue lo que pasó. Rebeca. Rebeca. Hola, teacher. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Excelente. Ah, ok. Bueno, I guess we're ready. We're ready to, to start. Yes. 
How was your big your week? Your vacation week. Hmm? How was it? Nice, nice. Did relax, teacher. Relax. relax. Right? You have chance to relax a little bit. But only three days. <laughs> only three days. Yeah. Yes. Just three days. <laughs> <Better>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you wanted more, but but you know what? We have all next week is vacation, right? All next week. <coughs> and we will be totally on vacation. So better that we had only three three days because if no, can you imagine that'll be three days plus a week plus the vacation? Too much, right? Too much, too much. So mm -mm. Next week, you will be resting. You will be having a very, very deserved vacation. <clears throat> well, we're changing colors today. You see? Changing colors. Well, for the people who are new, that I have a lot of new people uh, here today, uh, this is my, my life, right? <laughs> my story. I... Uh, well, I have a master's degree in virtual learning environment. Uh, also, I have a bachelor's degree in education with a specialty in English language. And a teacher, uh, I'm a teacher also in secondary education for English language teaching. As you see, I like studying a lot. So when you say I'm going to study, I celebrate and I say, wow, yes. Yeah. That's the best thing you can do in life, study. You keep active, right? You keep your brain active and you are creating very, very good opportunities for the future, right? Well, this is my experience. Uh, I have been a facilitator for the English, uh, for the program English for Work with INSA for about two years. Mm, about eight years, something like that. Uh, before that, I worked as a teacher in a program that is a English Access Alumni Enhancement. That's from the American Embassy. Before, I had worked with a Minister of Education, a couple of programs given by the Minister of Education that was about a strengthening of English language. And I was also uh, giving or working with that same program in Opico, right? That's uh, in the Institute of Opico uh, with the same program of the Ministry of Education. Before, right, uh, yeah, in the very beginnings in the 2005, when this uh, project began, of, that was a presidential project given by the Ministry of Education, I was also working in Metapan, that Centro Escolar says. So we were traveling a little bit and having fun, having fun during the trip and enjoying the meeting new people, right? So, well, that is part of, of my, uh, how can I say, of my, my experience, right? I have been a teacher for over 25, 26 years. Uh, and now I'm working with high school, right? That's my bash, my diploma, my first diploma, my first titulo was for teaching English uh, with high school. So that's something I'm doing. Uh, and I have worked in public schools just like a couple of times, but most of the time my experience is in the private area. Okay, that's me. Now let's move. Let's talk about uh, the course, right? And about the platform and how we are going to be working. Remember uh, something very important with Zoom is that you keep it dated, right? Keep Zoom at data so you do not have problem. Be sure that you have a, a good well, a good connection of internet, so it's not giving you problem. And, well, that's like the very basic, right? And some requirements that we have uh, with Zoom, or oh, when entering to the platform, 
is one that every time you connect to the platform, you should use your complete name, right? Use your complete name, not just the, uh, the first name and last name, but the complete name. And that is for the matter of attendance. When they download the attendance, they need to know that your name is complete. <clears throat> okay, if you are a listener, right, you put the word oyente next to it, but right now here I have only one. So the others do not worry about it. And this is a very important point to see, and I'm going to underline it because this is very important. Important. Can you read it for me? What, what does it say? Hmm? Someone is in ah, Again? What does it say? Come on and send you. It's not my requirement, eh? I'm not inventing it. That is a requirement from English Corporative, yes? Because in support requires that the person who is receiving uh, the seminar, the class, or the course is the person who is registered, yes? That's why it is so important that you keep your camera open at all times, right? Also, uh, another thing that I will ask you here is minimize the sound around. I know, I know sometimes it's very difficult because we cannot control our neighbors, right? But if the noise comes from home because somebody in your house is watching television with very loud volume, please, keep your microphone close, right? Or try to move uh, to uh, another area a little farther from the, one, from the television, right? Because unfortunately, uh, sometimes we are in class. Uh, sometimes uh, somebody forgets to close the microphone and we're listening to the news or we're listening to the, mo uh, to the movie or to, the, uh, to whatever that is going on on television. So let's try to do this, right? Minimize the sound, the environment sound that it's going around, right? And one last requirement, and I must say like, it's one of the most important ones is active participation. Mm -hmm. Active participation means that I'm connected to class and I'm pending on what's going on, right? I'm ready to discuss questions. I'm ready to answer. I'm ready to read the, 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 the conversation. I'm ready to go to the rooms and practice with my partner, not to leave my partner alone and me apart, quiet, right? So, I understand sometimes you're working. Believe me that I really understand. But I have a question for you. When you cannot be in class completely, do you watch the video later? Mm -hmm. That's very important, right? I understand. Sometimes uh, it's difficult for you because you're working but later watch the video. Because if no, when completing the assignments, we have situations that you're asking uh, for something that we said in class about three times. Remember with the platform, right? So we answered the questions about the platform. You asked me, we discussed, check this and this. But the next day, somebody comes and asks the same questions about the platform that we were discussing the previous day. Or sometimes we have in the platform some exercises exactly like the ones we did in class. Mm -hmm. 
that's why it is very important that you take your time. And if you're not in class because of any reason, or if you were just connected, but you were working, watch the video. Is that possible? See? Because here we're not just for a diploma, we're for learning, right? That's the main purpose, to learn, not just to get the diploma. So come on, we can do it, okay? Active, active participation. And now check this. What is the attendance? How much is the attendance? Hmm? 100%. 100%, yes. 100%. And check, it says that when you do not attend, or la asistencia, right? The attendance is not just saying present, but also do the platform and stay the whole two hours, right? So you say present and stay inside. Because when they come and check the attendance, a they believe me that they have a way to see how many minutes you connected. Yes. So you say present, but you continue in, right? You continue in and you try to uh, work right in the in the rest of the activities. Now uh, we are calling the attendance three times. It is always the same three times at the beginning, at eight, then at nine. And then at about the end, 9.55, sometimes two minutes before 10, because we do it quickly, right? So we are always going to be checking the attendance uh, three times. And remember, you have to say present and keep your camera open. So you say present and I can see your face and listen to you say in present, right? That's very important. Another thing, at the end, in order, in the order that I mentioned, well, there will be a couple of changes, I think, according to what I could see, uh, because of the two people that are missing and the two that are extra. Uh, we, will, uh, we will see tomorrow the order that you keep, right? But it's similar to last course. In the order that you are, that will be uh, the day that you will have to stay. <clears throat> if by any reason you are absent the day that you have to be, uh, that you have to stay, the 10 minutes, you can ask for another day to stay, okay? Because remember, you are 21 and we have 25 days in this course. So if by any reason you're not the day that you have to stay, you can ask for another day. If by any reason uh, you want to stay the day that the person who has to, to stay is not available or is not present, you can tell me, teacher, I want to stay, okay? And another thing uh, regarding the permissions, uh, I really, really believe me, I really appreciate that you tell me and you let me know when you're absent. I really love it. I really appreciate it because that's very kind of you letting me know that when you're absent is because you really have something, right? But uh, I cannot, how can I say? I cannot authorize a permission. Right, so you let me know just for me to know that you are a very responsible person and that you're not connected because you had any situation. But it doesn't mean that I can give you a permission. So I don't know if that's clear. Yes. So I will always put absent in the list, but it's good that I know because I can understand and we can help you somehow to see what's going on with with you, right? Okay, so but I but believe me, I am not authorized to give a, to give permissions. Okay. Now, related to the uh, wait a minute. I have. 
Okay. I had it's suddenly I got a doubt and I said, like, am I a recording or not? But yes, I am. But check with the attendance. Here we come again with more detail. Um, it is necessary to attend the 80%, right? That is in the platform. Later on, uh, with the people who are new, I don't know, tell me. The people who are new who are new in this course, have you been before with Inglés Corporativo or you are totally new? Hmm? Are totally new. Totally new. You totally new, Yvonne. Okay, thank you, Yvonne. I'm totally new to teacher. You're totally new, Victor. Okay, I'm great. totally new. Who? Uh, Adriana Sofia. Okay. Nice, nice. Somebody else is totally new. Jennifer? Yes, I'm totally new. Ah, perfect. It's okay. I'm going to explain to you the use of the platform. Okay. So you see what I refer to when I say it is necessary to obtain the 80% of the average in assignments, okay? You already got a lot of links to enter and to check a lot of things. So I'm going, but I'm going to show you where, where it is and what you have to do there, okay? Um, so it says the 80% 80, 80 in average in assignments and evaluations, so you can complete the course satisfactory, okay? The assignments are in the platform. So later on, I'm going to explain to you uh, how to get to the platform and how to enter and work there. So just after class, you can go and complete the assignment. It won't take you more than five minutes, right? And in the moment when everything is fresh because you have just received the class, you may remember, and that will be very, very easy. All the assignments and the topics studied in class have to be completed before each Friday, or see Friday, because we are beginning Monday, right? At midnight, it says at midnight, but we don't want to stay up to midnight, right? So you can do it before. Uh, I'm, ch I'm checking weekly and I'm sending the report, well, I'm leaving the list report uh, complete, and they send the report to INSA for every week. So remember, it's very important that you complete the assignment every week, every week, yeah? Do not let the week, the complete week pass because on the, you know what, something good, it's that I can pick up the grades on Saturday morning at 7.30 in the morning. So in case you say, I teach it, okay, I estoy muerto. Okay, get up at 7, finish the assignment, and at 7.30 when I enter and I can pick it up, right? But if you can do it better, much better. Now, the limit or the due time to finish the midterm exam I have put it tentative. I have to go to the Plataforma de Aprendizaje and check exactly the time, but it's tentative about the 18th of August, right? But we will see here which uh, unit is the one that will have more time. If you remember last course, the unit that re received more time was unit two. So we will see what happens here but it's tentative about this time, okay? And the due date for finishing the exam, the final exam is September the 2nd. When do we finish the course? Hmm? When do we finish? Yes, teacher. When do we finish the course? Friday to September. See? September 2nd, right? Okay, so that's why that's why that's the limit time for completing a, 
the grade, right? To, to, to finish the exam, okay? I'm going to share with you the, the, the manual later. Um, I just need to know if all of you added yourself to the WhatsApp group already. Are you all in the WhatsApp group? Yes. Yes, yes, teacher. Are yes, you all teacher. in the group? Yes. <laughs> yes, teacher. No me contesto. Okay. Uh-huh. So if you are all in the WhatsApp group, that's perfect. I can share with you uh, the link. Okay. And uh, something important here, check. Uh, we're not supposed, right, to share material from third people. So whenever... Uh, we are working in the in the mini groups. If you enter, for example, to the dictionary to check, they are free, they are on internet, so you can use them, but don't share the screen with the dictionary. Or if you go and want to investigate something in any page, uh, do not share the screen, because if I enter, that will be recorded and then, uh, YouTube can punish me, okay? So if you are using material from, other, from another site, don't share the screen. I'm not saying you cannot use it, but don't share the screen, okay? Or if you're using the dictionary, don't share the screen of the dictionary. Like when we have to go and investigate vocabulary, right? Don't share the screen of the dictionary, just share the screen of the page where you are, where you are writing, but not the screen of the dictionary. Así no no penaliza YouTube. Okay? Gotcha. Okay, well, and here just remember, uh, in Zoom, you have a button that is mute, right? Remember to use the camera. Miren qué bonita se ve esa foto con toda la gente con su cámara abierta. Okay, you can use the chat. Thank you. You can use the chat. And in the breakout rooms, remember if you have a question, you can call me and I can go check, check, check what you need. Any questions? No. No, okay, bueno, before we go to the discussion questions, uh, we are going to go to the, to the platform, right? So you see where you have to go from the very beginning. That check. This is the mail that you received where you had all the links and everything, right? So what you have to do is join Plataforma de Aprendizaje, right? That's the one that you're going to enter. <clears throat> and you have the course at check that the course is a uh, already shared. You should have active English Intermedio Modulo 2. See? Everybody there? <coughs> gotcha. Once you are inside, as soon as as soon as you enter to the platform, you will appear here, right? Check. In course, you will see this part. So you click over the name of the unit. You click over the name of the unit and you will see all the activities that you have to do. Yes. For example, right now, we do not uh, 
we do not have a video, right? But for tomorrow, you will find the video here, right? Now, so you go to assignment number one. This is tarea one that is about today's class. For the ones that are new, you see you finish. You have to mark each of the, the answers and then you click in submit once you have finished, right? Click in submit. Here you have assignment number two. But each, each, uh, each thing you see has a number, right? So you have here 1.0, 1.1, the next video is 1.2. Uh, the second assignment is 1.3. Then you have the other video, video conference number three. It's 1.4. And you go to the assignment, 1.5. Yes. And like that. How many assignments do we have in this unit? Hmm? How many? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Only five. Even you see here 1.9, but the others are only the videos, right? That, it, that are in the middle. If you were in class, if you were in class and you still have a doubt, you can come and watch the video again. Or if you say, um, I have a question in this part. You go directly to that part and you can perfectly watch the video, right? Ahora, I'm going to go back to course because I want to move to the next unit, unit number two. You click over the unit and then you click here. You see, after unit number two, you have the midterm exam that I was mentioning before, that it has to be complete by the middle of the course. Right? So we click on unit number two and we will see how many assignments we have for unit number two. So you see it's 2.0, we are beginning the unit, right? We have two videos, one assignment, but as it is based on two days, it is longer. You see? That means that this week you have assignment every single day, but next week you will have two videos assignment, two videos assignment, two videos assignment. See? This is video conference number 15. So you see, I was correct when I told you uh, the date, right? That is after week number three when we will be a finishing assignment 2.14, finishing unit number two, and then you click on next and go to the exam. The midterm exam has four parts. So you do part one, part two, part three, and part four. Every part will give you 25, 25, 25, 25, right? You finish all, then you have the 100, okay? So remember, with unit number two, we do the midterm exam. But with unit number four, and the, the following week will be only, only unit three, right? And you have one video, one video, one assignment, one video, one assignment. So it's similar to unit number one and the same unit number four is similar to unit number one that has class assignment, class assignment, class assignment, okay? Yeah. And at the end, after that, after unit number four, that you have the final exam. And the same, final exam has four parts to, 
25, 25, 25, okay. Okay. I don't know if you have any question. The new people, no question. No question, teacher. Okay. Adriana, Sofia, any questions? No? No questions. It's, it's very easy, right? It's very easy. It's a very friendly platform. Hmm? It's a very friendly platform. So it's very easy for you to follow. Just one thing. Uh, remember, do not leave the assignment for the latest time. Okay? You can go ahead. You can uh, work. You can better go, go ahead. If you say, mm, can I can I do tomorrow's homework? Yeah, sure. You can go ahead better, but not behind. Okay? Better go ahead, but not behind. Yes. I'm sharing, okay, here. Now, it's time to work. I'm going to share, let's see this one. I'm going to share the, the questions that you're going to go discuss right now. Check. Check the questions. How important is it? to plan the development of a new product. How important is it to plan the development of a new product? And uh, what happens if a product is launched to the market without being carefully developed? Question number three, have you heard about lost, lots of cars that are withdrawn from the market? That means taken out of the market. And why do you think that happens? Okay, just uh, this unit, unit number one in this course is about products, okay? So I'm going to send you right now, I'm going to send you right now to the groups and I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to go discuss your questions and then I call you back. You have your manual already? No. Yes, teacher, no teacher. Yes, teacher. No teacher. No. Bye. No teacher. Okay, perfect. I'm going to upload there, upload it there in the chat. There it goes. Well, it's uploading. Remember, you can download it in your computer, in your cell phone, you can print it, whatever is better for you. Okay. But now I'm going to send you to the groups. We will be in groups when how many you are 15. Oh, I'm going to send you in groups of five of three. There you go. Ready, ready. Yes, teacher. <laughs> no teacher. Bye. Go discuss the questions. Try to join, ahí les va a aparecer un, una cosita que dice join the room. Try to join Jennifer, Adriana, Grace. Grace, are you here? Okay. 
eins. Adriana Marcela, hello. Okay. Sí, le escucho. Ok, entonces, the answer to the question, number one, how important it is to plan the development of a new product? What do you think? Ok. Uh, let me... Let me let, let, let me think something. Let me I don't I don't watching the okay I'm not watching the question. You have the did you download the manual, Victor? Um, okay, uh, repeat teacher. Did you download the manual? Um, not. Download not the yet. manual. Mm -hmm. Not. I don't, I have not the manual. Okay. Okay, but I think it's very important uh, to develop a plan uh, before uh, before launch a new product to the market because in the in the plan is when the the manufacturer uh, take take care about uh, uh, a customer, about the health of, of the customer, and about the uh, uh, specification of the product. That that that's a reason why I think it's very important to have a plan before launch a new a new product to the market. Okay. Uh, and you, Rebecca, the question number one. Let me, let me. Okay. okay. I don't have I don't have the question and I'm trying to follow the manual. Victor? Ya se yes. unió al grupo de WhatsApp. Yes, yes. Vaya, chequen el grupo de WhatsApp, les puso el manual. Ok. It is the manual, ok. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, I have the manual. It's about a it's an ASD two. Okay. It's a document called SB2. Yes. Yes. A student book two. Okay. So I have a manual. How are you doing with the questions? In the first question. The first one, teacher. Okay. But discuss it in group, right? Okay. Yes. 
Um, I said we are searching information. No, es que es con lo que ustedes saben sobre su empresa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, este, for me, eh, this is the most important. Eh, this is the part because it gives the better knowledge of the product. Mm -hmm. and, and what what is it do you in the oh sorry ¿Qué es lo que había dicho? Eh, I said that is a good way for that when the when the empresa I, I forgot how to say empresa. Company. company company when a company launch a new product uh, they have to know about the customers and about the new product and do merchandising and publicity about it. Mm -hmm. So it's part of the, of all of that is, is part of the plant for mm -hmm. launching. So, vamos a, a contestar, verdad, teacher? Yes, you have to answer the questions. Okay. But be, give your own answers, right? What you so, know about the, the topics. Uh -huh. This topic is the continue of some previous topic. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh -huh. I think it's important because we can identify the strange. Have you hear? Have you hear about a lot of cars that are withdraw from the market? Why do you think that happens? Uh, 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 have you hear about lost Teacher, what means withdrawn? Withdrawn means that have been taken out. Taken that out. Been take, taken out. Yes. Uh, out of market for for behalf <laughs> or for, uh, for technology. I, I have for because they have any problem. Ah, ah, okay. But for example, imagine that they tell you, if you bought a Nissan 2014, bring it back to the store because it has a problem uh -huh. with the brakes, for example. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh -huh. I uh, guarantee, guarantee. Like guarantees or or something like that? No, no, no. It's not a guarantee. It's like okay, you bought a car, but later on the store who sell who sold you the car notices that the car of a specific month or a specific year has a problem. 
they make a big announcement and they uh -huh. take out from the market, mm. right? So they, uh -huh. go, they, go, uh -huh. they don't uh -huh. continue selling the ones that they have mm. and they call people to take back the ones that already bought mm -hmm. uh -huh. to avoid problems. Oh, okay. They ask, why do you think that happens? I think that happens uh, for the people that make the product not a story, a study a lot the product before they make the product. Mm -hmm. And all of these just have a, a lot of pérdida. Loss. Loss. Uh -huh. Loss. A lot of money. And. Ay, no sé cómo decirlo, pero pérdida de reputación, digamos. The reputation. Uh, reputation. They get a bad reputation. Ajá. Uh -huh. Because the, the market. Maybe uh, that happens one time, but the market can uh, take out that um, thing in the in the in the head that that brand uh, and all of the models are um, like that or or that bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's a problem because the company gets a bad reputation, but if they mm -hmm. withdraw those cars or their product, people can say, wow, but that company is very responsible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more minute and then I call you. Yeah. Vamos a ver, almost everybody here. Nice. Okay, tell me present. Adriana Sofía. Present. Ana Alicia. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel, no, 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 no. Eh, Diego. Elda Cristina. Me falté. Eh, Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Espérenme, me voy a dar volumen aquí en mi computer. Ahí está. Ok, Elmer Fabricio. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. 
Hoy sí les oigo bien cabal. <ríe> Thank you, Grace. Y con Marcela. Ivon. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present, chair. Jessica Lisette. José Alberto. Present, chair. Karen Janet. Carla Lorena. Present, chair. Lisette Dayanara. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Karen Esquí. Vaya, Adriana, Adriana Marcela. En... Present teacher. En José Alfredo. Mañana, esperemos que ya mañana la lista esté actualizada, ¿verdad? Le, le arreglen, ahí me los agreguen y ahí les voy a poner la pena. Soy Luis Alfredo. José Alfredo. Ay, ya le cambié el nombre. José Alfredo. <risa> Hola, Peter. <risa> y okay. no me contesta. Ok, vaya, estamos completos. Entonces, oye. Así mañana yo le agrego ahí la tendance de hoy porque han estado acá. Okay. Teacher, a mí no me menciona la tenda. ¿Quién? David. Yes. Ay, David. No, pero ¿cómo no? Pero no. No lo llamé tampoco, David. No, teacher. ¿Cómo me no? saltó. No, me cambia el nombre y me salta, ya vi. Ay, me lo salto. No, pero usted sí está listo. Va, listo. Pa. Sí, el número cuatro, David. Va, ok, teacher. El jueves le toca quedarse. Copiado. David Alexander, present. Okay. Present, teacher. Acha. Uy, so sorry, David. Vaya, es Sofi, Adriana Sofía. Hoy le toca quedarse diez minutos extra, hoy. Ok. Bueno. Let's. Let's go. Tell me how important is it to plan the development of a new product? Hmm? How important? Very important. Or not very important. Hello. Very important to comply with manufacturing processes and quality standards. Mm -hmm. It must be in accordance with the customer's needs. Exactly, exactly. What do the customers need? Remember, every new product appears because there is a necessity, right? And if there is not a necessity, you create it. Mm -hmm. But uh, many of the products that we have are because we got a necessity. For example, K. Okay. The cell phones. There was a necessity to communicate with people far from us, right? Then somebody created the phone, and now everybody has a phone everywhere, and sometimes even two. Okay, what happens if a product is launched to the market without being carefully developed? Later on, we are going to be talking about all the steps that you need to follow when you're developing a new product. But what happens if the product is launched to the market without being developed carefully? Hmm? What happens? 
I... maybe the product will have problems and that is a a bad record for the company mm -hmm. and probably it will be a fail right it will be a fail check next question have you heard about lots of cars that are withdrawn from the market have you heard of that have yes. you heard yeah the most seconds hmm? what can you tell me then i remember that it was because their cast emissions were modified. Okay. Okay, that the problem was in manufacturing, right? So every time the problem of that car is in manufacture, they withdraw all the cars. They check them and then uh, they sell, I imagine they take them back to the market, right? But if there is a problem, they are taken out. A couple of years ago, there was a, a brand, I don't remember the car, but there was a car that was withdrawn from the market because it had a problem with the airbag. So you only hit something a little bit and the airbag went directly to the face. And that was, of course, very dangerous. Well, the cars we have here, they have no airbag, right? But in other countries, they do. Now, the last one. Why do you think that happens? Why do you think uh, cars might be withdrawn from the market? Or you can tell me, not necessarily cars, but any other product, right? I lose from the company. Mm -hmm, exactly. Responsibility. That that shows the responsibility of the company. And I don't know if you noticed last year that a couple of products were taken out from the market. They were for babies because they had they had poison. They had something that developed cancer. So then they had to take the product out. So that's what we call withdrawn right? Those products were withdrawn from market. A couple of years before also, there was another case of products like the peanut butter. They were peanut butter uh, that were given salmonella and they think they were withdrawn from the market. So it's not just cars, right? But it can be any product that may have any problem and they can be withdrawn from the market. Okay, any questions so far here? No questions? Okay. No questions. Nice. Now, let's look at the conversation. Uh, let's read the conversation and then I will need volunteers to read it. Hi, Elgar, I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. Again, hi, repeat after me. Hi, Elgar. Hi, Elgar. Hi, Elgar. Hi, Elgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I wonder, I wonder if you, you could go give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. I don't, I don't know, know where, where to, start. to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market. There's First, you should write, write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. We want to offer, we want to offer our course. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. But it still sounds confusing. But, but it still sounds confusing. confusing. I have never done anything like that. I have I never, have done, never done, done anything like that. Don't worry. 
Don't worry. Don't worry. Partner. 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 It's no big deal. It's, it's no big, big deal. deal. Yeah. Don't worry, partner. It's no big deal. Don't worry, Don't worry partner. partner. It's, no it's no big deal. 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 After the idea generation, after the idea generation, you should go for the screening. You should go for the screening. The concept development, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. And testing, and testing the, the business, business analysis. analysis. I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure I understand. Relax. 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 I've done this kind of work before. I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time. Just give me time. And I will teach you how to do it. And I will teach you how to do it. And I will teach you. One more time. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to plan the new course. I don't know where to start. I don't know, I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. But it still sounds confusing. But, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. I have, I have never done, done anything, anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's no big deal. Don't, Don't worry, partner. partner. It's, not it's no big deal. deal. After the idea generation, after, after the, the idea, idea generation, generation, we should go for the screening. We should go for, should the, go for the screening. screening. The concept development and testing the business analysis. The concept development and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure I understand. Relax. Relax. I've done this kind of work before. I've done this kind of work before. Just give me some time and I will teach you. Just yes. give me yes. some time, give me time. Give me time and I will time. teach you how to do it. Just give me some time and I will teach you. Just give me, Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. How to do it. How to do it. Okay, who wants to be Rodrigo? I need one Rodrigo and one Edgar. Me, teacher. Okay, Adriana, Rodrigo. Who wants to be Edgar? Me, teacher. Well, Jose Alberto, go ahead. Okay. okay. Hi, Edgar. I wonder if you could give me some pointers to, the, to plant a new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our coach. Good idea, but it still sounds confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, partner. It's no big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure I understand. Relax. I've done this kind of work before. Just give me some time and I will teach you how to do it. Excellent. Thank you. I need two more volunteers to read. Two more volunteers. Yes, yes. Two, 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 two. Okay, that is Rebecca. 
Okay, Rebecca and Nubia. Okay? Okay. Who begin? Okay. Rebecca. Okay. Okay. I know, yeah. I wonder if you could, could give me some pointers to plan a new course. I don't know where to start. First, you should write down any idea related to the market we want to offer our course. Good idea, but it is still so confusing. I have never done anything like that. Don't worry, Farnet, it's not big deal. After the idea generation, we should go for the screening, the concept development, and testing the business analysis. I'm not sure, I understand. Relax, I've done this kind of work before. Just give me time and I will teach you how to do it. Nice, nice, very good. Now let's see the questions. Let's answer these questions. Do you think Rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself? By himself means alone, without any help. Why or why not? Mm -hmm. Do you think Rodrigo could develop the new course successfully by himself? Yes or no? Maybe at the beginning it's gonna be a little difficult because uh, he he was uh, asking to to Edgar for how to start uh -huh, because he has no idea at all, right? Uh huh. So at the beginning it could be difficult, but later on, you think he will be able to do it? Yes, with a good guide. Okay, what is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? That means the one that he's having problem with. What is the step of the product development process Rodrigo is struggling with? Mm -hmm. You don't know where to start? The beginning, right? So that would be like the idea generation. Yeah, probably. Because that's the first step and he has no idea at all. Check the last question. What steps should Rodrigo take after identifying the target market for the new product? They mentioned some steps there. Which ones? What steps should Rodrigo take after identifying the target market? Mm -hmm. uh, first, you should, you should write down any idea. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he has uh, many steps to follow. Right now, I'm going to send you something where I need that you work, you're going to work in groups, right? I'm going to give you uh, some information related to these steps that we're talking about. So what you're going to do is read the information, get familiarized with the information that you're sharing, summarize it, and uh, share it with the rest of the class, okay? At the moment you're sharing with the class, you can make a, like a summary, what is, what is the point that you have to do? See, 
what is the point? What are you talking about? If you have to read 10 lines, you put it in two, right? So you make it short. Mm -hmm. Are you ready for that? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, teacher. <laughs> I'm going to send it to you, so sorry. Sé que si no me contestan, yo le voy a decir, yes, teacher. But I'm going to share it there in the, in the WhatsApp. And I'm going to give you one. You have seven, a ver how many steps you have there? Yeah, seven, seven steps. I'm going to make them seven groups and I'm going to assign one step to each group. Some of you will be in pairs. Try to join. Hola, Hola. Hello, Jose Alfredo. Hi, teacher. Creo que salió el doctor. Vamos a ver qué pasó. Ah, ya lo vi donde lo había mandado. Lo voy a mover ahorita, pero lo voy a volver a mandar ahí con Carla hoy, porque si no, Carla ah. me queda sola. Vaya, Vaya, cheque. Cheque si le aparece y se puede unir a una. Nice. Your step is step number four. Okay, hey, teacher. Number four. Ay, me jalaré a alguien de... Para que tapen. Vaya, chequen. A ustedes, como este es el room number four, ¿verdad? Les toca step number four. ¿Ya lograron abrir el documento? Sí. Sí. Solo leen el punto cuatro, solo ese. Y solo de ese me van a hablar. Oye. Okay. Uh -huh. Hi, hi. Step five, Rosy. ¿Qué room son? Uh, ¿Sí? Five. Five, five. five. Entonces ustedes solo leen step five. Okay. Okay. Pero voy a tratar de compartirlo, que no of good soul. Uh, will be so, will be so you can determine it. Hi, hi. Uh, David, David. Mande. Ustedes se van solamente a step six. Yes, the cost. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. We're reading. Yes. Okay, nice, nice. 
Step seven, right? Yes. Hi, teacher. Hi, step seven. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Leanlo y lo resumen, ¿verdad? Ya lo resumen. Sí. Leanlo juntas, este, novia, pueden tomar turnos leyendo. Ok, sí, sí. Solo que aquí por la lluvia casi no, no escucho mucho. Ya le di todo el volumen a, a la tabla. Ah, pero a usted sí se le oye bien. Usted puede leer. Ah, okay. A usted sí se le oye bien. Vamos a ver... Um, I, I remember one for me idea in the rest of ¿Qué números son ustedes? Seven. Vale, yo solo leo el número seven. Only seven. Only seven. Oh. Solo el que les toca a ustedes. Ajá, es que si no, no terminamos. Ajá. Ajá, si no, no terminamos. Entonces ustedes leen solo el suyo y después vamos a compartir todos. Compartir las ideas del punto siete. Exactly. ¿De qué se trata, digamos? Sí. Ah, ok. No había entendido. Sí, solo del 7, porque si no es mucho. Sí, es mucho. Ok. Bueno, ya. Quiero leerlo. Voy, voy, voy. Test marketing. Sí. Eh, no, commercialization. Number What? seven. Commercialization. Sí. Ah, yes. ok. How are you doing? Are you discussing together? Yes. yes. 
tal vez que estamos terminando de entender el texto. Ok. We are discussing what, what is crowdfunding. It's like a financiation. Hola. What is crowdfunding? Crowdfunding. You are number, number two, number research, two. and number three, and the tercer puntito. Espérame que no, uy, no me deja abrir. Ahí está. Starting a crowdfunding campaign. A, cr a crowdfunding campaign. Qué barbaridad, Word, no me deja ver nada. Starting a crowdfunding campaign. Crowdfunding is like a financiation. Uh -huh. Getting money for the project. Ah. Uh -huh. yeah, no, me dejo, no me deja ver. <laughs> barbaridad computer. Ajá, uh -huh. crowdfunding is like getting money, right? From somebody. And we have to explain what is research. Yes, that's to, that's the one that you have to present. Each group will present the one that 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 you have to to talk about. Discuss it with Miss Jose Alfredo here. Discuss it with your partner, Carla. Hola, Carla. Hola. How are you doing? Are you about to finish? We work yes. in the in the number one step number one. See, si, you have to do only number one. Okay. Mm. Okay, me los llevaré ya entonces. Okay. Let's go. A ver, a ver. Coming.
Okay. So here we have uh, eight steps, right? That you have in the in the document that I share with you. You have only seven, seven steps. A ver. Which is the step number one, according to the article that I shared with you. Which is the step number one? <clears throat> hmm? uh, step number one is uh, idea generation. Idea generation here. Which is a step number two. Research. Okay. It's research that will be like is similar to idea screening. What do you think? What is research, Carlita? I think research is uh, uh, the way to get a financiation, uh -huh. get money, and uh, we have to to do many things like uh, talk with with family, uh, with. Um, uh, Sorber online. Mm -hmm. Okay, when we have the, the this is a research is similar to a, idea screening. A ver, let's go first with idea generation. What is idea generation? Group number one. Okay. Yes, Edwin. Idea generation is the step where, where we uh, think uh, many topics and can, can we use the brainstorming uh, for building something can be new. Uh, it can be true, substitute, combine, adapt, modify, put another rules, eliminate or reverse. If we have a product, uh, then we need to modify or created a new product. Uh -huh. Remember that the purpose is to improve it, right? So you can think about a product that is totally new or a product that needs to be improved or that needs to be adapted, right? That's when we have an idea generation. You can say, you know what? I have a pen that if in the middle of the night I have an idea and I want to write it, I don't see anything. So I'm going to develop a pen that will have a lamp here. So when I get an idea in the middle of the night, I'm just going to touch a button that it has and I will be able to see the paper where I'm writing and I'm going to write my idea. So yeah, that's idea generation. I'm talking about something that already exists, but I'm innovating. Right, that's the point, the point here, innovation. Adapting something, creating something totally new or improving something that already exists, right? Okay, and the one that Carlita was saying, that's a research or idea screening. In this part, you have the ideas, right? When you generate the ideas, you can come up with a lot of ideas, maybe 10 or 20. But when you go to idea screening, you reduce the ideas. You say, no, this one, no, this one, no. And you go ask family, ask friends, ask other people 
What do you think about a pen that has a lamp for you to write in the middle of the night? If they tell you, no, that's a crazy idea, you can go like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, when you go screening, you eliminate that idea and you leave the ones that people tell you, yeah, great. Oh, you know, that's fantastic. I really like it. Go ahead, do it. Then you reduce the number of ideas you had in the beginning in the idea generation and get here to have less ideas, right? From the 10, you can reduce to four or to three because at the end you will develop one, right? Okay, what is number three? It's planning. Planning. Is there something similar to planning? No here, right? What is planning? Oh, yes. Planning is like a short plans, concrete ideas. Make a sketch and create the, the best possibilities. Mm -hmm. So that would be kind of similar to idea screening? Mm. Or like designing? Mm, I don't know. Um, what, what do you do in planning, Alberto? In planning? Mm -hmm. uh, First, I looking all the best idea, all the all, all ideas, and and, and uh, we make a sketch. We we make a um a hundred. You put it yeah. in paper, right? Uh -huh, yeah. Because put sometimes you have your idea here, but you and want I, to describe it to somebody, and people go like, okay, I don't understand. But when uh -huh. you put it in paper, it's easier to chair. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. What is number four? Prototyping. Prototyping. What is prototyping, Adriana, Sofia? It's create a finished product as a sample for a mass production, mm -hmm. but it depends uh, of uh, several samples of, of a product to check, to study it, and to can launch at the market. Aha, uh -huh. imagine Alberto said in planning, you put it into paper, you make a sketch, right? So you see, Vaya, you see, this is what I'm telling you. Ooh, you're communicating your idea now in paper. But when you prototype, you create the product, right? You create it, you put it using the materials that you were thinking about and you create the product. You have one example of what you're talking about. If you say, well, you know what? I have my pen with the lamp. And I have the example, the real one. Not just the picture now, but now the real one. What is number five? Number five? Sourcing. Sourcing. Uh-huh, what is it, Rosie? Finding manufacturer or supplier. You may also factor storage, shipping and warehousing in your choice. Okay. Where are you going to, to keep the product? Mm -hmm. How much are you going to spend, right? Costing. You're number six, Rosie. No, sourcing. You're number, number six. Sourcing. What do you mean by sourcing? In this, in this step, um, after you have the prototype of the product, uh, you make uh, you you make activities like uh, like find supplier and take care of about a factor like storage, shipping and warehousing. Uh, you have to choose um, 
or half of a cup for several suppliers uh, to compare costs, um, make uh, answer word in your business for a long term. <laughs> Exactly. So first you got the prototype. Right now you have the prototype. You're happy with it. Who's going to sell you the resources, that, the sources you're going to use? They start looking for the vendors. They start looking for the people who are going to provide you the materials. And then where are you going to keep that material that you're going to use? Right. There is where you have the water the warehouse, right? How are you going to storage the materials and the product already done, right? That's sourcing. What about number six? Number six is costings. Costing. Mm -hmm. Costing, what is costing? Okay, uh, when you're talking about manufacturing process, and you have to make the step of costing, you have to uh, consider it, uh, all the costs, uh, beginning with the raw materials, because it's very important for, for create the product. Uh, you have to consider it factory, factory a step up cost, manufacturing costs and shipping costs uh, because it's very important to know how for to know how much uh, your product costs and how much you want to win to earn it, uh -huh. what's and how the profit right that you want right. right yes definitely so you need to know in the end after you have done everything you need to know how much money you have spent right and i think is for me it's very important uh, the, the step number the planning because mm -hmm. in planning you definitely you define uh, everything about it to create a product exactly exactly so you need to know exactly how much is the product that you're selling and what is the percentage that you want to get at the end, right? What that would be your profit. Okay, commercialization. That's the last one, right? Yes. Commercialization. Yes. Rebecca? Is to put the product on sales, making a good publicity. Uh, can some take will be very expensive there are, because there are people specializing in marketing, but are, there are the low cost options uh, that can be advertising with the friends or family, making a small videos of the product and receiving reviews about the product of the first customers. Exactly. It has to be with all the moment when you put the product in the per, in the customer's hand, right? That's the commercialization. And how are you going to do it? Now, something that has become very, very popular is social media, right? Social media selling. Before, people had to go door from door knocking on the doors to convince people to buy the product now no you just post it in instagram facebook marketplace and different uh, platforms and people immediately buy it right and it's cheaper yeah definitely definitely if you want to sell the product probably you have to pay something right in the in the social media but at the end, it will not be the same amount of money that you will pay a person to go from door to door knocking and selling your product. Okay, great. Here, you see, we have some different uh, steps that come to the same thing, but we're just going to put them into the correct order and check which ones were mentioned in the, in the article we were reading 
and which ones are kind of similar and which ones are totally different, right? A ver, so number one, we have idea generation. Number two, idea screening. Number three, concept development. What, which do you think is number four? Hmm? Which is number four? Business okay, business analysis. So you analyze the products, right? Or what you want to sell. Number five? Test marketing. Mm -hmm. That's product development because first you have to, to develop the product, remember? Mm. Uh huh. And then after developing the product? Launch. Ah. Yes, marketing to launch something should be done and should be tested, right? Launch commercialization. Which is first, commercialization or launch? Launch. First, we're going to commercialize it. Commercialization. And then launch. Or so. we can move it. El lanzamiento primero y después la commercialization. Better, right? What do you think? Or both. Mm -hmm. the, what is the launch? What is the launch? I think the launch is the number seven. Mm -hmm. Launch number seven? Yes. <laughs> and then we commercialize it. See, I agree with you. Mm -hmm. Yes. So first we launch it, it's like the big party when we open the new product, we're presenting the new product to everybody and then we're ready to commercialize. Okay, well, well, in this unit, you're going to be creating a new product and you're going to be sharing it with us. Okay, when, any questions? So far, are you gonna are you gonna share this presentation with us? Uh, no, but you can see the recordings. You can okay. see the you can see the recordings. Mm -hmm. In the recording, you have all the the the, the things right and the presentation. Okay. okay. Bueno. Let's see, I'm going to call the last attendance because uh, otra cosa, Victor, pueden ir haciendo capturitas también. Algunos de sus compañeritos van haciendo captura, las van pegando en un documento de Word y así van guardando también eh, todo lo que vamos haciendo. Okay. okay. Pacha, a ver, let's see. Victor, otra vez me aparece con el nombre cortito, Victor. Ahí se lo pone completo antes de que nos vayamos sí. para que cuando bajen la tenda le salga completo hoy. Vamos a ver. Present, Adriana Sofía. Ana Alicia. Ana Grisel. David. Present, teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer, no está, ¿verdad? Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Yvonne. Marcela. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Lisette. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lizette Dayanara. Sofía Zulema. Uh, present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. 
Adriana. Adriana. Present teacher, Adriana Marcela. Adriana Marcela. <laughs> Tengo tres Marcelas. Eh. Adriana Marcela and José Alfredo. Ok. Bueno. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Ya casi you. se va la lluvia. Thank you. Good night, teacher. Good night, bro. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. God bless you. Good night. Good night. Rest, rest. Teacher, entonces no me quedo ahora. Que se quede Adriana Sofía hoy. Y este mañana se queda usted en lugar de ella. Ok, ¿verdad? está bien. Ajá. Ok. Ok. Good night. Good night, Adriana. Hi, hi. Okay. Do you have any questions, any comments, any curiosities? No. I think that I need to study <laughs> my, <laughs> my old classes. Yeah. Uh, yes, this is a, well, in intermediate courses, we have to read a lot, right? Uh, there is more vocabulary that in the in that in the previous ones, but uh, you have to create a lot too. You have to create. You have to invent <laughs> a lot, but that's something good because it brings you to to use the vocabulary and the stock the structure that you already have, that you already know. Mm -hmm. So it helps you, it gives you like, a, we can say liberty, right? Right. To use the information and to use the vocabulary that you know. Mm -hmm. So as you see, we're going to be reading uh, from time to time. We're going to have readings like the one we have today. So you read, you analyze, and then you're ready to paraphrase and say it in your own words, and say what you understood, right? In your own words, instead of reading what the, what the reading says, because it's easy for you to express your idea and for the others to understand uh, the topic when you explain it in your own words, right? Because it gets uh, closer to what we know. With the platform, do you have any questions, Adriana, Sofia? No. No question. I acted my, my user mm -hmm. uh, last week, and today I, I check and I have already a video. Okay, perfect. Because, so, yeah. no, I, I. You have no excitement. <laughs> mm. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, it's a. a the first one is basically vocabulary, right? This is basically vocabulary that we were talking about today. Tomorrow, we will continue talking about that. So if you say, oops, um, I'm not very sure I cannot do it today, you can do it tomorrow, right? Because okay. tomorrow, uh, no puede abrir esto. tomorrow, we continue talking about the same the same topic, right, of a okay. product, product development. That's the unit for all this week, product development. So we will be talking, I don't say it, yes. Unit number one is basically uh, the definitions that we were talking about today. And tomorrow, we're going to be talking a little bit more about that, right? So if you don't if you don't feel very sure about it today, you can do it tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. But uh, at the end, at the end, what you have to be very careful is that by Friday, you have finished all the assignment for the week. That you have five. Okay. 
So that's very, very important. Okay, just here, as you say, you're new, right? In this course, yes. are you new? Or, or you were studying with us before? No, no, no. no. By a check in the manual, I'm going to show you the manual here. In the manual, there are some things that you can be, uh, that you can do. And one of them is this. Every, every, uh, every lesson at the beginning of the lesson in the first page, you will have uh, uh, two links. In this case, this is, um, this is an article. The other one is, yeah, it's an article too. Sometimes you will find videos of YouTube, right? Sometimes you may have YouTube videos. Check this one. This is a YouTube video. It's again about the product development. We cannot put these videos in class because of YouTube, right? We cannot put them in class, but you can see them in your free time. And then you can practice more listening here or you can practice more reading here. Yes. Talking about the product development cycle. That's what we were talking about today. We're talking about the steps for the new product. So you can uh, go and read about this information. Mm -hmm. That's a good way for you to do extra practice. Yeah. And that is every every uh, every two pages we can see here. In this one, we don't have uh, links, but in the following, yes, we have two. Mm -hmm. So you can perfectly come and uh, go through the go through the readings or go through the videos, right? and practice reading or structure. Sometimes there are links for the structure and in other cases, you can uh, practice listening. Okay. Okay, good. Well, Adriana, nice to see you then. Nice to meet you and see you tomorrow. Thank you, see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye, good night. Bye -bye.